All right, let's get started officially because we have so much to discuss today, so much to go through today, and uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a wild one. So uh, first of all, <coughs> last week we finished the Cloud Solo Necrosis mod challenge. Um, we defeated Sephiroth with one HP left. It was craziness. If you missed it, you gotta go see it. It was insanity. Now, we're doing kind of a bonus episode, or episodes, I don't really know how long it's going to go, but uh, we're doing kind of a bonus afterwards where we're going to try some, some funky stuff. Um, we didn't do any shortcutting at all during the challenge, because it was a challenge, we wanted to do it legit, but now that the challenge is over, we can do some funny stuff like throw Knights of the Round in our uh, inventory, we can... Uh, master some material that we wanted to be mastered we could level up a bunch if we wanted to and so we're going to use all that to um see if we can beat the turks without skipping them um maybe get through the game a little smoother and then see if maybe we can get enough hp at the end to tackle emerald weapon uh ruby weapon i already know we can do because he's a joke um but we'll do him anyway it's just for fun so uh so yeah, lots of lots of cool like bonus stuff today. Um, also, there's two very important announcements I have to get out of the way today. Um, one of them I've been preparing for for about a month now, um, and I've been teasing it all week long. Teased it last week, teased it all this week. It's finally time to tell you guys what I've been working on for the past month. Um, it is going to be a huge event here on the channel. And uh, you guys are really going to like it. So, without further ado, um, last month I started getting the idea of doing something for April Fool's Day, which is uh, this Sunday. It's the same day as Easter, funnily enough. Um, so, uh, I started getting ideas like, okay, what kind of funny thing can we do on, uh, on April Fool's? But, unfortunately, April Fool's is on a Sunday. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice, God. It's like not even awake yet. <coughs> so, um, April Fool's is on a Sunday, and we don't stream on Sundays. So I was like, what are we going to do about that? So if, if I'm going to do something April Fool's like, I'm going to have to do a week-long thing or, or something during the week. So then I came up with an idea for a week-long event that is kind of April Fool's related but more so just sounds really, really fun. And uh, it is called Meme Week 2018. Uh, it is going to be a week full of meme games that we have seen either on the PlayStation Store during the Death vs. Uh, PSN videos or just some of the stuff that people have sent me of like really goofy games. Um, but it's a lot more than that. We're also going to have giveaways. We're also going to have charity uh, bonuses. It's going to be a really awesome, action-packed week. Um, I'm going to link the uh, the page right now. I will click over to it. And you guys can check out everything we have in store. Actually, you know what? I don't even have to do that because I already have a thing for it. I just have to type it in. So there you go. There's the there's the page. Uh, let me plop it in here. Viper, they give a hundred bits, my man. So if you can see that, we have a whole spew of games lined up, and the way it's going to work is we're going to start off the week with the first game and uh, as we go through the week you can unlock more Mimi games via bits and you'll also be unlocking other things thank you for the 77 bits um, you can also unlock other things in the bonus category for example when we unlock the fourth game somebody will win a $20 PSN gift card um, when we unlock the seventh game, someone uh, will all get a $50 charity bonus, so there'll be 50 extra dollars going to the charity of the month. Uh, the ninth game, a $30 Amazon gift card. 
Uh, the eleventh game will be a mystery giveaway that someone will win, and then when we unlock the final game, there'll be a one hundred dollar charity bonus. One hundred extra dollars will be going towards the charity. Uh, already ten percent of all the bits will be going to charity, but in addition, we could get up to one hundred and fifty extra dollars to charity. So it's going to be an incredible week um, to go through the games. I like I can't even do them justice. Um, I made a badness scale to give you an idea of how bad some of these games are. Um, I would like to, to direct your attention to the second to last game. Um, <laughs> Yo, Zephram! Meme unlocked. Thanks, man. Thank you for the seven months of support. I appreciate it, my man. Uh, the, the second to last game, Life of Black Tiger, is widely regarded as the worst PS4 game ever made. So uh, that will be something to behold. <laughs> um, but I think most importantly, at least to the people watching this video, is the last, uh, the last game uh, that we will be unlocking. It is actually not a game. It is instead Let's Break Final Fantasy VII Part Three Bugenhagen Special where we'll be doing some really fun stuff with Bugenhagen in Final Fantasy VII. So that is definitely the big one uh, that we'll be shooting for by the end of the week. All the bits will add up during the week, and uh, the goal is to raise uh, the amount we need for the Bugenhagen special by the end of the week. So it's going to be an amazing week. We'll also be streaming every day that week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, so we'll have the maximum amount of chance to raise the money for the charity and raise the money for the Let's Break Final Fantasy 7. So there is that. If anyone comes in asking what the announcement was, you can type exclamation mark meme week into the chat and uh, we can talk about it. But uh, I'm super excited. There's so many great games in here. Cat Lateral Damage is in there. Uh, Night Traps in there. Um, Inner Kung Fu game, that game we were making fun of uh, during P Death vs. PSN. Uh, we're starting off with Octodad, which is a great game. Um, Human Fall Flat is another really popular one that just came around. Broken Sword 5 is the one with the guy pulling the gun out of the pizza. Like, it's, it's, it's going to be an incredible week. So, uh, and I have some other things in store. I have a, a really cool banner that Darmo made that you guys can check out next week. I made a little section that'll show um, the games as they unlock. All sorts of awesome stuff. But that's for next week. Just wanted to let you know about that. Now, the next big thing, the vote. Today we are voting on what our next YouTube series is going to be, since today will be the last Necrosis Mod day. Um, so I have made a list of, I believe, 13 options you guys get to pick from. Thank you, Urban, for changing the title. I appreciate that, dude. I was going to do that myself. Um, so there are, I think, 13 different choices to pick from. Uh, so it's going to be quite the vote, and your vote really will matter, so be sure to vote. And I'm also going to be opening it up to YouTube for them to vote. Uh, here are the... Uh, let's see if I can... I was going to... Well, it's fine. Just just wait to vote. I know you can see the link up top, but don't don't go there yet. Let me uh, Let me go through the options first. <clears throat> and then you can vote. I'll, I'll post it in the chat. <clears throat> but here are the options. Um, so, I made... I tried to uh, kind of organize this. Unfortunately, it gets unorganized. I don't know why. But I organized this into basically like half the options are Final Fantasy VII related and half of them are not. So, to start off, we have... I wonder if I can actually... Can I go back to where it was actually organized? Because this is annoying. <laughs> I guess not. I can I can open my uh, my own list though. I guess I'll open my own my own little Notepad list. I know it's smaller, but I think I can change the font. There you go. Just because uh, they're at least in order. So. So the first uh, six options are Final Fantasy VII related, and then the other ones aren't. So starts off with Final Fantasy VII Level One No Sources No HP Plus Challenge. Um, this challenge 
would be really fun. It'd kind of be similar to the one we just did where everything will be about negating damage because your level one have like no HP and you're not allowed to use HP plus materials. Um, no sources is kind of a given just because it breaks the game and uh, basically makes level one not matter because you can just use sources. Um, so this is pretty much a run through the game with very, very, very little HP and having to use some interesting strategies to deal damage. Um, so that one is very interesting. The next one is one I came up with that I just thought would be a really unique challenge. I've never seen anything quite like it before. It's kind of like the Necrosis mod Cloud Solo Challenge where it's just something that no one ever even thought of. Um, it is Final Fantasy VII Eris only, Limit Break Healing only. So the idea behind this one is it's Eris only and she can only heal via her Limit Break. So she's not allowed to use, you know, same thing as Necrosis mod, no absorbing, no items, no, you know, no restore materia, nothing that can heal her, except her limit breaks can heal her. So it's kind of like Necrosis mod without having the 9,999 HP. You can only heal through limit breaks. So um, that one could be cool. I always wanted to do like an Eris only challenge. Um just because I thought it'd be interesting, but I figured just Eris only would be too easy, so I uh, I kicked it up a notch. Also, that would be different than the Cloud Solo Challenge. The Cloud Solo Challenge, I just did everything that Cloud normally does, um, but for this challenge, we will actually put Eris in every single battle, so even when she's not supposed to be around, like Guard Scorpion, everything after Disc 2, we will hack her in and she'll do every single battle the whole game. So uh, it, it might take a while. I still have to kind of test it to make sure like where all the soft locks are. Um, it might We might have to like really fidget with it to make it work, but it could be really interesting. So that's the second option. <coughs> Third option is uh, the Limit Breaks Only Challenge, which I stress now, if you don't like grinding, do not pick this option. Um, Limit Breaks Only is an absolute, like, madness challenge. Um, it takes an incredible amount of, like, grinding and getting Limit Breaks, and, uh, it's, it's something. Basically, the way it works is you are only allowed to use Limit Breaks. That is it. Like, Limit Breaks Only. Not just for damage, but everything. Like, you're not allowed to use items. You're not allowed to use anything but Furies and Limit Breaks. that Or Hypers and Limit Breaks. That's it. Um, so, it's it's something. <laughs> Put it that way. Um, so, those are the three challenge ideas. Then we got some other kind of interesting ideas. I have Final Fantasy VII Original Japanese version. I would purchase a Japanese PS1 and play an original Japanese cart. Um, cart? CD? I'm used to saying cart, because use cart with speedrunning a lot, but actually it's a disc. So I would use the original Japanese disc um, and play the original Japanese game. Um, the original Japanese game is not just Final Fantasy VII in Japanese. Um, it is actually um, a lot different. It doesn't have the weapons. Um, it has a couple like glitches that were taken out when it got re-released for uh, International. Um, and there's a couple other, like, really goofy differences. Let me see if I can quickly find one. I know there was, like, one in particular that I wanted to see. Um, oh, yeah, the test encounter. So in the well in the desert, you know, there's a little well you can jump down and there's, like, nothing down there. In the original Japanese version, there was a debug fight in that well that you could get. Um, and it's basically either an easter egg they left in the game or just something they forgot to take out but it's this debug fight that literally the enemies don't even attack you they just if for some reason they have text that says like please don't hurt me and then you kill them violently <laughs> it's a very strange easter egg and it only appears in the original Japanese version um, some other changes the encounter rates are super high in the Japanese version um, there's some changes with the speed mini game, the speed square mini game. Um, there's some bugged attacks that some enemies have. Uh, safer Sephiroth's AI is different. Um, chocobos can be paralyzed, which is weird. Um, 
There's also a, a more complex clock puzzle in the Temple of the Ancients that was removed because I guess they thought American audiences were too stupid to get it, so they just put in the easy version. Um, and a couple other things. There's also like a chocobo breeding tutorial that for some reason they took out of the, the international version. So yeah, there's a lot of changes. Could be really interesting to check out if you're interested in the original Japanese version. The next one is uh, Final Fantasy VII graphic mod playthrough. What we would do there is we would go through the entire game with one of the graphic mods that someone has made. Um, I'd probably actually do several. There's one that changes the, um, the actual rooms, like all the different maps. There's one that changes the world map, which I've shown that one off before. That one's really, really cool. And there's one that changes the vehicles as well. So I'll probably use like a mixture of a bunch of different graphical mods so that everything gets changed. And then we'd play through the game like that. Um, so that's it for Final Fantasy VII. And then there's also uh, Final Fantasy VII Dirge of Cerberus Let's Play. I figured I'd throw that in in case someone wanted to see me do a spin-off game. There's really only two spin-off games that I would want to do. Dirge of Cerberus and uh, uh, Crisis Core. All the other ones are just mobile games that aren't really too exciting. Um, Before Crisis might be cool, but that game is only in Japanese. Uh, so... That would be kind of hard. Um, and unfortunately, Crisis Core, we have no way of recording, really, except through emulator, and I would prefer not to use an emulator. So, um, Dirge of Cerberus is kind of the only one we can do, but it would be kind of cool to, to play it, so I thought I'd throw that in there. Um, so then, after that, we have Final Fantasy One Let's Play. Um, I thought, I've thought about rebooting my... Uh, Think of it the 777. All those options sound so cool. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I, I worked pretty hard. I tried to I tried to conglomerate the stuff that I wanted and the stuff that everyone voted for. Most of the stuff here are people that things that people uh, asked me to add. So, um, uh, so I've been thinking about rebooting my Let's Play Final Fantasy series, but I don't really have the ability to upload it all to YouTube. If I streamed like nine hours of it every week i i don't have the ability to get nine hours of youtube content onto youtube every week i just don't have a computer that can do it the time of in the day to do it it would take way too long and if we only do four hours a day then it's going to take a really long time to actually finish the final fantasy let's play but i thought i'd throw it up there if there's a lot of interest in it then maybe we'll try to figure something out. Maybe I can even purchase a second computer and have that be a render machine. Who knows? But I thought I'd throw it up there. If Final Fantasy 1 Let's Play wins, then it might lead to more Final Fantasies. It might lead to more Final Fantasies. Um, we might do them all. Who knows? But it's there. Uh, Alice, thank you for the 10 month resub. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, Final Fantasy VIII Steam Let's Play. We started playing Final Fantasy VIII on Steam as part of a uh, stream takeover that to Irish did. And uh, everyone was really enjoying it. So I thought I'd throw it up there. Maybe we could play through the whole Steam version, see how it is. We will do it with the good music, not the bad music. So don't worry. Um, then there's Final Fantasy IX PS4 Platinum Trophy. That could be really interesting because to get the Platinum Trophy, you have to get the Excalibur 2, which means I have to speedrun the game. So that could be really interesting. Um, if we don't get that vote, I'm still doing that eventually on the Trophy Quest, but I figured I'd throw it up there as a possibility for the Friday series as well. Um, then there's Legend of Dragoon Let's Play. A lot of people have been talking about Legend of Dragoon, want to see me go through it. Um, it's a little bit of a slow game, but it's got such a cult following that I think it has a, a real chance to win the vote. Um, Legend of the Gaia Let's Play. I've talked about Legend of the Gaia a million times. It's probably my choice for, like, the game I'd like to do. Um, I love the game. I have so much to say about the game, and a lot of people have never seen it, so I would love to give people the chance to see it. And then finally, Chrono Trigger Let's Play. I don't think that needs any more description. It's Chrono Trigger. I've never played it before. Maybe we should play it. So that's it. Those are all the options. I am now going to open up the vote to you guys to vote for whatever you would like. Um, you can type exclamation mark vote into the chat. I will do it for you. There it is. It didn't work. 
wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I think, oh, you know what? I didn't make it because I didn't have the link yet. That's why. Okay, next. YouTube. Series. I need the link. There we go. Now it should work. There we go. <laughs> All right, and then I'm also gonna open it up to YouTube. I have a video already made and it looks good, should be good. There we are. So that's that. Everyone can start voting. We'll check it uh, as it goes along and see how it's see how it's doing. Check it right now. I wish this updated like constantly. So far, we got four for Chrono Trigger Let's Play already, two for Legend of Dragoon Let's Play already, and one for the OG Japanese version. Very interesting. Chrono Trigger's off to off to a hefty start. Ooh, Ledger of Guy got a got a vote too. I think I get a vote. I think I think I should get a vote. Let's see. Uh, maybe not. Rip. Wait, can I hit vote? Am I allowed to hit vote? I would probably vote for either Legend of Lagaya. Or hmm, what do I want to do? I wanted to do another Final Fantasy VII challenge, just because Necrosis mod went so well. I also want to do something not Final Fantasy VII, but. I'll go with this one. I have to be following my own channel to vote. Rip. I can't follow my own channel. I've been bamboozled. Alright, I don't get the vote. Rip me. <laughs> Alrighty, so. With that all out of the way, let's actually play some Final Fantasy VII. What's up, Metal Militia? What's up, Match? I sealed the vote when I said I never played it before. There's a lot of games I haven't played. It's actually kind of sad. I never owned a Super Nintendo when I was a kid. So I didn't get to play Final Fantasy VI. I didn't get to play Chrono Trigger. I didn't get to play a lot of awesome things. But it's kind of like, you know, do we make the Friday, do we make the YouTube series, Death gets to play all those games he never got to play, or do we make keep the YouTube series a strictly challenge-oriented thing? And, and I don't honestly know the answer. That's why I have put this up to a vote, because I want to know what you guys want to see. Because to me, the Friday series is for you guys. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that's when I do my thing, I speedrun, I play... Kingdom Hearts, I do all the things that I want to do on my stream. Fridays are your guys' day. Fridays are the days that I do what you guys want to see, and, you know, no matter what it is, it's for you guys. So, um, that's why I just thought, you know what, let's just put it up to a vote. Whatever happens, happens. Alright, so, um, first things first, we are... This is before the Turks. I'm trying to think. I think what we should do is go like before Diamond Weapon. And um, maybe try to save some health there. So let's find let's find my save that's right before Diamond Weapon. I'll be checking this vote like constantly. 
Chrono Trigger still in the lead. Ledge of Dragoon right behind it. Ledge of Lagaya right behind that. See, the YouTube votes haven't come in yet, though. When the YouTube votes come in, a lot of them are going to be Final Fantasy VII, so... Oh, did I miss Dirge of Cerberus? Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ah, oh, shoot. I missed Dirge of Cerberus on this list. Well, rip, rip Dirge of Cerberus. Would I, was anyone going to vote for it anyways? <laughs> rip Dirge of Cerberus. Feels, feels bad, man. Just pretend like it never existed. We'll put, we'll put it on next time. It'll be there next time. Start a new save. Uh, okay, let's see. We want these are the last saves. Tunan area, Nibble area, Tunan airport path. can't tell which one of these saves is right before Emerald. Or er, Diamond, I mean. Where is this? This is close, but not there yet. Chrono Trigger will probably win. It's very possible. Is this? I'm having a brain fart here. I, I don't know where these saves are located. How is this not? Okay, this was me in the Gel in the Galnica ship. So this is after. But then where is? Okay, it's way back here, that's why I was confused. Sector... Here we go. Should be this one. Well, this is actually before the raid. So let's see here. Um... So probably so I don't know which one it is. Too many saves. Come back to bite me. It's just the location of the saves, because we went from like going over to Diamond Weapon to then going back to Wu Tai, then going to Diamond Weapon. So like, it changed. It like, <laughs> I don't. I just don't know which one's which. Um, I know it's gonna be. I know it's gonna be Midgar area, wherever it is. This is still before the raid. This was just before we went back and and change stuff. Uh, they didn't change the music, Viper. That's just always the music when you're about to do the raid. I think I saved over... Maybe I went straight from the Medeal area to... Think of the host NK. Okay. It's gotta be this save. It's gotta be. Okay. Found it. I was gonna say. It's gotta be that one. Alright, so. That one was. Here, I think. This one. Alright, 
so what I would like to do is we're going to go think of the host drop down. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to pretend like we super farmed before ever fighting diamond. So I'm not going to go super crazy because like fighting uh, the worms getting to level 99 would be pretty insane. I'm going to say something like level 70. Let's say we, we grind it all the way to level 70. Um, we are going to... Let's say we... Mastered Bahamut Zero. Mastered Quadra Magic. Mastered Magic Plus. Mastered Speed Plus. Mastered 4X Cut. Mastered... Oh, no, no, it don't matter. Time don't matter. Um, let's give ourselves a second mime. Um, give ourselves a second Bahamut Zero because we mastered Bahamut Zero. And then let's say let's go. We went and got Knights of the Round. Uh, we've already done a ton of Final Fantasy X stuff on stream, Roderick. That's why it's not even an option. Alright, so here's our new save. This is like we gave up and just said, let's go grind the heck out of the game. So we got all sorts of good stuff. Um, oh, you know the other thing I wanted? I wanted sneak attack. That's the other big thing that we could have had and didn't have. Uh, uh, and actually, an enemy away would be great too. Um, so, diamond weapon, I don't think will go too much better, but we should be able to beat him without taking any damage with sneak attack. Also, I found out that his shot is actually fire. <laughs> we were talking about his, his little, like, shoot attack, and we were like, there's gotta be some way to negate it, and we couldn't figure it out. It's freaking fire. I don't know why, it just is. <laughs> it doesn't look like fire, but for some reason it's fire. So you can actually just completely negate it with fire. Um... Doesn't Heaven's Cloud give a better... It doesn't have any link, though. Well, I don't need the Zydra, because... You know. So we could do something like that. Then we could just do... I don't want to use Knights of the Round, because it's going to be too much MP. But we could do Sneak Attack. Uh... Bahamut Zero. I don't actually know... Does Sneak Attack Bahamut Zero work if... Like, with Quadra Magic? I don't know if that works or not. Will it, will it Quadra Magic Bahamut Zero Sneak Attack? I don't know. I'm not even sure.
but I should get another magic plus. And the apocalypse. Where is the apocalypse? See if we can beat Diamond without taking damage. Oh, you know what? Let me plop up the old HP, the old HP number. <laughs> That'd be too much of a meme. That'd break the meme counter nightfall. So we should sneak attack, and I don't know if this is going to quadra magic or not, is the only question I have. It looks like it did, because he's almost dead already. <laughs> I didn't realize that would do so much damage, holy cow, it almost one shot him. Oh, did we change? Do we change the title? I'd like to I'd like to put the vote in there too. Oh nice. Urban did. Urban is best mod. Sorry, I screwed up the screwed up the Bahama Zero. Oh Napaz did it. You the bomb dude. Thank you. So yeah, I, I am so excited for Meme Week. I can't wait, man. It's gonna be so much fun. We're starting off the week with Octodad. And then, as the other games unlock, we'll play them as they unlock. And, uh, they're all gonna be amazing. Octodad is gonna be fun. If I could get a little more damage, I could one-shot him and then not even have to worry about the next hit. I'm not sure... I'm actually surprised this isn't doing max damage. With two magic pluses, apocalypse... I guess it's just because it's Quadra Magic and Quadra Magic lowers damage by so much. It actually is doing max damage, but it's getting halved by Quadra Magic. But Quadra Magic's still better than W Summon, because W Summon takes too much MP. We need to save enough MP to at least cast, uh, Knights of the Round, until we get counter, then we don't need Knights of the Round, we don't need MP anymore, we can just counter, actually we don't even need that, we can just use Sneak Attack, it's the beauty of Sneak Attack, Sneak Attack really has the chance to break a ton of stuff for us, it's just, I was never going to get Sneak Attack in the original challenge because it's so frustrating to get and it's so cheesy, but Sneak Attack breaks so much stuff because you can just use whatever you want without the MP to use it if you just Sneak Attack it. <laughs> a meme... It doesn't really matter what the, the definition of meme is. The reason I call it a meme week is because it's stuff that we've memed about for a while. It's a lot of games that we've joked around about. So... That's the idea behind Meme Week, is I'm playing all these games that we joked around about me playing. Like, wouldn't it be so funny if Death played that game with the guy pulling the gun out of the pizza? And now, I'm doing it. I'm playing the game that we memed about me playing.
Thanks, uh, Galcaria. I appreciate that, man. Yo! When's dinner with a brand new sub? Let's see some foam fingers in the chat for that brand new sub. Welcome to the crew, my man. Enjoy your foam finger emote. And I love you, dude. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it. If we get through all this and then he just hits me, I'm going to be real mad. Alright, so this should do no damage. Sweet. We win. So we successfully beat Diamond Weapon with taking no damage. Sucks we had to use MP, but like I said, MP shouldn't even matter in a bit. Think of the five bits black heart. Yo, Kez with the 10 month tier 3 resub, my man. Thank you so much for the incredible support. Let's see some super foam fingers. Not regular foam fingers. Kez does not deserve regular foam fingers. I'm talking super foam fingers. Like my super glue. Take the super glue and pour it on them foam fingers for Kez, my man. For the 10 months of tier 3 support. Thank you, dude. I like I like Zephram's I like Zephram's idea of the the rock and roll plus rock and roll plus foam fingers. I like it. Don't worry about this white screen, it's not important. I now have fifty million foam fingers stuck to me, help. Duh. <laughs> the crash face with foam fingers, that's pretty good. Yeah, sneak attack only has an 80% chance. I didn't know that they stack though. Well, I guess they don't stack, but they both go off individually, so. If you get two, then you're probably not gonna get screwed. Oh yeah, they get some real good reception on that PHS. <laughs> Think of the 100 bits, man. Have a good one, Will. I still love your name, by the way. Wilt Stumbling. I don't know what it is, I just, I like it. It rolls off the tongue. Good old Wilt Stumbling. Why isn't Final Fantasy 15 on the meme list? Because I would not play that game again. That would not be fun, it would just be boring. That's the thing about Final Fantasy 15. It's not even fun to make fun of anymore, it's just boring. It's like everyone knows it's bad. If you just play it, you're just gonna be sitting there bored. Sneak attack counts against the counter attack limit, so you're limited to 8 per battle. If you have 10 spread across 3 characters, it stops if 8 go off. That's interesting. It'd be pretty rare to see 10 go off, though, even in an 80% chance. You have a pretty good chance of at least 2 of them not going off. 80% is worse than it sounds. It's only a 4 in 5 chance. Like, usually if I equip 8 to a character, I get like 5 or 6 of them to go off. Yeah, New Threat was nice because he increased it to 100%. I mean, I don't know why it's not 100%. If you're going to master it, you might as well get the 100%.
I know it's not how 80% works, but it just it just tends to go it tends to work out that way. Like even like I said, even when I equip eight of them, I usually only get five or six to go off, which isn't correct math, but it's what happens normally. Rip Rufus. Hey, if you like Final Fantasy 15, that's great, but I'm just saying it would not be good for Meme Week because I don't like it, so it'd just be me sitting here bored. Hardcore versus New Threat, what's harder? Hardcore. Hardcore was meant to be hard. New Threat was meant to be just kind of a new challenge, and then it has some hard stuff at the end. But the game itself is pretty well balanced. Hardcore is supposed to be like, screw your life, it's impossible. <laughs> and the, the final super boss of Hardcore is actually the hardest Final Fantasy VII fight I think I've ever had. Like, without it being a challenge, just straight up like normal boss fight, it's the hardest I've ever done. That fight took me like two episodes, like two weeks of us trying it before I beat it. It was probably like 16 to 20 hours dedicated to that friggin' fight. I'll never, never forgive him for making that fight. <laughs> so bad. This is where we could skip the Midgar raid, but we're not going to. I'm glad to hear that, Arco. Hearthstone has actually put a lot of people in the mood to play Kingdom Hearts. I'm very proud of it. Not that I like started Hearthstone to get people to play Kingdom Hearts, but it's cool to see that when I play through it, I uh, rile people's Kingdom Hearts fandom and, and get them to play through the game again. And we've gotten a couple people that have never played Kingdom Hearts pick it up because of Hearthstone, so. It's, it's cool. It's cool that we all get to experience it together. If you guys are interested in Hearthstone, we're playing through every Kingdom Hearts game ever made and platinuming all of them that have platinums. Um, we're doing that every Wednesday. So if you ever check in on a Wednesday, we'll be playing some Kingdom Hearts. Right now we're at Chain of Memories. We're almost done with it. Then we're going to start Kingdom Hearts 2. We're playing them in chrono or in, uh, release order, not chronological order. Because chronological order sucks. <laughs> you have to play like the last game released first, which is dumb. I'm going to turn around to make sure I don't accidentally uh, run into Midgar. Alright, so that's step one. Step two is get through... Step two is get through the raid without taking any damage. Probably just do this, honestly. Ba -ba. What's up, Ross Dan? Good to see you, dude. Glad you're here. Hey, Butterfly, thanks for stopping by, dude. Hey, before you leave, 
type exclamation mark vote into the chat and uh, vote for what you want to see as our next YouTube series. Since you're a YouTube fan, I'm sure you want to vote for that. But uh, thanks for stopping by, man. Appreciate it a lot. If he just got like stuck up there and no one could get him down. Let's check the vote by the way. Let's see, Chrono Trigger still in the lead, but it's only one ahead of Legend of Dragoon. And Final Fantasy VIII is right behind that. And Eris only is right behind that. It's looking like we're not gonna be playing Final Fantasy VII. Gotta say, it's looking like we're playing a different game. But we'll see what happens. You would rig the vote, Arco. <laughs> You're the type of person that would rip my vote. I go through all this work to make it not rigged. Arco just rigs it anyways. No, I never finished the Final Fantasy 2 playthrough. If Final Fantasy 1 wins that vote, I might start the Let's Play of all the Final Fantasies again. But so far, it doesn't look like it's winning the vote. Looks like people want me to play Crisis Core or Ledger Dragoon. Thanks, Butterfly. Have a good one, dude. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it a lot. Officially got to the save point. Good stuff. If you want to see Final Fantasy 4, vote for Final Fantasy 1, because if, if 1 wins, I'll probably keep going and do like each in order or something like that. Or try, try to come up with a way to do it. Okay, so now we're at the Turks. Um, one thing I would like to try is um, escort guards probably better. One thing I'd like to try is sneak attack um, Choco Mog because all these guys can be stopped. Um, I wonder if Hourglass would work too. Another 10 month sub. Gordo, my man. Thank you so much for the 10 months of support. Bone fingers in the chat. I love you, man. Thank you so much for being here for so long. Alright, so uh, I'm going to get myself W item, just so we don't have to run all the way down that hallway. Um, and then I'm going to give myself a ton of hourglasses, so I'll do that again. I'm 
wondering if maybe with hourglasses, if we'd be able to just uh, cheese this. I wonder, I actually kind of wonder if you could stack hourglasses and dazers as well. Never thought of that. Do I have dazers? I should. There. Yo, Rusty, thank you for the host, man. What's up, Fop John? Thanks for coming. Yeah, I tried my best to come up with some really good poll options. I think they're all good. It just depends on what wins. You know, whatever wins, I'll probably bring these poll options back afterwards, so they're not gone forever. Okay, so... Hourglass... Dazers. I wonder if I could stack, like if I could stop them all, and then paralyze them, and then stop them, and then paralyze them, and just like keep them keep them distracted that way. I don't really know if that'll work or not, but it's an interesting idea. Uh, okay, what do I want? I want... Um, w item? Double cut? Long range. Mine. That's probably it, honestly. Um, so we're just going to try to get first turn. It's going to be the goal. And try to just throw our glasses and see what happens. If I could actually get through this Turk fight without taking damage, it'd be the sweetest thing ever. Thanks, Onion Wanderer. Make sure you vote on the next series. Oop, I don't know why this appeared all the way over there. Uh, Shadow, we already finished the, uh, the challenge. We're now just doing some bonus stuff, so I just leveled up Cloud to see what would happen. Yo! Argo with the gifted sub to Garfield. Garfield, welcome to the 4A crew, my man. Enjoy your phone figure emote, and I love ya. Thank you so much, dude. Welcome to... the crew. So she started off with that. Wow, they all got a turn before? So Hourglass does not work. wonder if Dazers work. Uh, I wouldn't play Chrono Cross until I played Chrono Trigger, because Chrono Cross is the sequel. Wow, days just don't work either. I could have swore they could be one or the other. It's looking like this is just going to be a sneak attack. Uh, sneak attack Knights of the Round or sneak attack Bahama Zero, but I think we can get away with Bahama Zero actually. Um, actually, you know what I just realized? Uh, we could just we could just sneak attack. Um, we could just sneak attack Mime, the second version. If I 
give myself another sneak attack. I think one might actually kill him though. If I do it right. magic so I guess we'll see what happens. I wish I could throw a hero drink before they got a turn but it's, that's not gonna happen. What's up, Vivi? Oh, uh, you want exclamation mark vote. There you go. See if this just one shots him. It's so dumb that they like get a turn though. Unless my sneak attack just didn't go off. Uh, it did. Does that kill him? Yeah. So, uh, that works, but I need to defend against Elena's stupid automatic hit. Which, protect ring is, is pretty good. But we could do better. We could equip uh, the Enhanced Sword and put on the Zydrick instead. And then just do... 